Hello and welcome back to uh, the Great American Farming Map. So, um, last time we tried out um, McHale um, Square Bale Wrapper. So these are the bales. They're kind of nice. The only problem I discovered was that um, you can't get them, get them to auto load onto this trailer. Um, this can handle straw bales and hay bales and grass bales and everything but the square bales that are wrapped so I had to get them by hand which was a bummer so but anyway it worked if you beside that part it worked pretty good I could probably try I haven't tried using the default um, is it Bale Biology or is it I think the Arcusins Autosec can hold square bales. I haven't tried it with that one. Maybe that could work. But I'm not sure. So anyway, um, that's one thing I want to mention on this special show in this episode. Another thing is I want to show you where to um, where you put uh, your hay your straw bales uh, for the farms uh, for the cows so you do it over here despite it well, I kept driving into it but if you look at where the box is, so you can see here's the box just by entrance. This. So here you put, you put the strawberries. You spread them like this. So we do another one. It's actually a swing there. Some sort of and I think it's this. I think we need to move this dog. It looks it's getting out of hand. So it's raining, we have some very well needed rain for our two fields. Um, I also returned our, um, our demos, both the, the tractor and the, uh, the new homes. Oh, I have to sneeze, or not. No, I'll leave that. We turned it to John Deere back. So New Holland. Back. Um, I want to buy that one. So it was really cool. We also returned our mowers, the John Deere mowers, which were very nice. And we returned uh, the wrapper, the kale wrapper. Also very nice. Let's see how much food our, uh, I was going to say horses, or our cows have so feeding for 9,000 could uh, uh, give them some more food. I think. I wish there was a way to get it to get the jewels to stay on. That would be, I'm gonna check the sum of intent. I think we use 30. Okay, so, um, so our cows need a bit of food, and 
then we're gonna try to make some more money by just fast forwarding a few days. Here, the square bales have to be fermenting two percent, so a couple of days off. I think the square bales and round bales, if you wrap them and use this uh, the bale extension mod, then you um, you take. I think it takes two days for them to ferment. So we could three bales. We could these square bales into. The mixer wagon was about to go at perfect ratio, ratio, ratio. Problem I think we get with using with having more days in the cycle soil mod like this one we have clean days for every soil mod cycle uh, soil mod day. The only problem is that you do a lot of this, a lot of feeding, which I guess is realistic because on most farms you, you know, harvest tends it's the summer project early fall and you spend a lot of days feeding your animals problem because you didn't really need knew how much especially if you extended in longer days in the cycle it was hard to know exactly how much many how much silage and how much grass needed to get off your fields. So it was constantly running out of stuff. Which I guess is the way it works in real life too. You can run out of things. Oh, then you probably buy it if you need to. If you have too much, you sell it. Uh, which is hard in this. Because we didn't have the buy bales mod. So I think it's one of the most brilliant mods that I have ever seen. brilliant one I've seen. It's, it, it's a simple one but I've been waiting for, for, for such a long time to arrive and for someone to do it. So for whoever did it by bail mod, I so much appreciate it. Let's see, I can hear my son coming down the stairs. I think it's my son. He, he walks a bit differently than my daughter. Kan du se 
Kan vi säga hello? Till de som lyssnar. Hello. Om du bara säger hello så hör du mig. Jag vet, det är ganska ljus faktiskt. Men om vi gör så här så inte vi kan så då. Det är bättre. Vi ska se, vi ska det är fortfarande ljus. Det är fortfarande för ljus. Ja, men det blir lite svårt att göra. Jag kan inte göra så mycket mer åt det. Jag går väl där nere. Det vill vi inte göra. Vi håller på. Matta i kurserna, och jag håller på att spela in, oj. Jag håller på att spela in det här. Oj, 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 jag håller på att köra på den. So I'm telling my son that we are recording this and then we're gonna feed the cows. Mm. I tried to give him his own version of, I think, oh, no. Uh, I'm trying to install FS13 on the... Uh, on the laptop so he can play it but it didn't really work out couldn't get it to start it's a crappy and really old laptop unfortunately we need another laptop so he could play too let's do some high gas oh. Se på tv, man kan på tv nu. Vill du se något speciellt? Eller bara du sitter på tv eller på tv? Jag vill titta på något speciellt. På, på tv? Mm. Jag bara lasta i det här. Så man sa nästa gång vi hittar oss på television. Alltså ett spel. Jag vill spela ett spel. Eller vad vill jag? Vill jag titta på ett spel? Jag vill spela Batman-spel. Batman-spel, okej. Så jag vill spela Lego Batman on our Xbox. Så jag kommer att bli rätt tillbaka. Jag vill spela det. Okej, nu ska vi gå och fixa det här. Kom så kommer vi fixa det. Så so, I'll be right back.
sorry about that. Um, it takes forever to start first the television and then uh, Xbox. So you've been watching it rain. Hey, you can you can always say that. What did you do? Well, I watched a YouTube movie of a person standing by gate in a, on a computer game where it's raining. Uh, which sucks. So let's see, we will be up to 88,000. Uh, I wish I knew how to, if, if there was a way to kind of pause the recording in uh, OBS, that would be great. And I could just pause it and continue when I'm back, but I don't know how to do that, so I guess I would have to, I couldn't stop the recording and add two videos together. The problem is I'm really lazy. <laughs> um, um, I could do that, but it takes it, it, it sort of not the work kind of workflow I use. I, I do this simple as I can, so I just record things in OBS and then I upload them. Some people do a lot of editing and stuff, and, and that's cool. Uh, I, I would think I could do that too. It's not. I mean, uh, I've sort of now I don't remember how to do it. I used to do it, do it some of the earliest movies I did. I did a mod. Uh, I edited it, edited them in Sony Vega. It was nice, really nice software. <coughs> and then the few last ones I usually just edited it in the default video editor, the Microsoft default Windows. It's called Windows Media Editor, Media something. Uh, and that worked pretty good too. And about with these movies, I, since I do so many of them, uh, now I'm putting out at least uh, one or now I'm putting out two a day. Uh, one of this American, the Great American Farming Map, and then one of uh, uh, our other North Brabant Map. So if I were to edit it, it's not editing. Editing doesn't take very long time. The problem is uh, you have to render the movie after you edit it, and, and that takes it takes quite a lot of computer power. So I'm sort of stuck rendering sh stuff. Stacks on this, um, and then so. Uh, first, it takes quite a lot of time and uh, computer power, and I could render it during the night. But if you have two movies, I can't get up in the middle of the night and change to so start the next rendering. So it, the process process using so it doesn't attack that very well to uh, not the process the workflow workflow I'm using means that uh, I would spend too much time ending things instead of just recording and loading things. So I could probably do decent uh, editing, but uh, it would take too long. So, and I guess you are the ones who suffer because you get to see rain for two minutes. And if you wanted to, uh, you could always fast forward a bit. I do that in a lot of movies, it's boring. And if I'm not if I'm not getting anything out of watching the movie and just first words a bit and seeing what happens so I'm going here uh, if you can hear my son in the background he's yelling for me so I'm gonna undo so I'll unload this and then I'll check on him
Oh, I'm sorry again. Um, my son wanted to play a Lego the movie game on Xbox. There's so many Lego games. They look really cool, but they are so... I think I find them kind of hard. I've never played this my entire life. Um, maybe I like this sort of games more where you don't you do the same things over and over. This is this doesn't I mean this sort of game doesn't have a, a plot. It just how do you get the best farm you can get? How do you do this to get the best farm? It's not really a plot, it's just So I like these kinds of games more, actually. I uh, always like strategy games. Uh, I did play a lot of Counter-Strike for a while, but I wasn't very... Well, stupid. Idiot, sorry. Um, so I did play a lot of Counter-Strike for a while. I enjoyed playing Counter-Strike. Um, the only problem was I uh, wasn't very good at it. Uh, you sort of get fed up with playing it. I know I know if I would practice it all the hours day I would get pretty good. But you sort of get fed up playing a game where you constantly getting killed. Um, people weren't very really nice in the service I played. Maybe could have used the opportunity to teach people like this movie. This is a bit like about teaching. Yeah. But in that world, just the other people were just very nice. And just went in to kill everyone instead of teaching people how to be better. I like games where you can learn stuff and where people are nice and, and you teach you stuff. So. Uh, I think the movies I watch for Farming Simulator are like that. You surely people have opinions, I have opinions too, but it's mostly about showing people a map or showing a mod or showing people what to do and stuff. And I think that's nice. We're all newbies sometimes. It's easy to forget about that. We all started out somewhere. And I was an idiot too. I didn't know how to work things and what to do. And maybe I'm still sort of not that good at stuff. But I'm really trying. So, so we'll be. Oh. Let's see how much we have now. We have 125. I think I'll do one more load and then. Uh, that will be enough for this episode. We need more oh, new screenshots, and not that one. It looks stupid. A screenshot, maybe loading fields into the mixer. Gate. the plow over here. I, I haven't moved this plow uh, from the, the other version of this map so and I wondered why it was where it was but uh, with this uh, old version of the map I, I really realized ah, it was exactly where it was supposed to be. I think the spray was over here or something. Uh, in the other map it seems kind of placed in this silhouette, silhouette place, but in this map I realized that it wasn't. It was placed very nicely. That was one of the things I mentioned on one of the videos I recorded that didn't turn out to be a video because I didn't have any room on my hard drive. So 
so my recording schedule is that I usually record one of these movies in the morning like this one, this is um, in the morning before work, come to work and then every other night I record one in the evening and the reason for it being every other night is that uh, me and Pia, my, my fiance, we take turns uh, putting the kids to bed So every other night I have it's my my job to do that. So and then I don't have time to record. Well, I have time to record. The thing is that I can only record when I'm do when I'm here alone because my fiance. <laughs> that's what it also is kind of awkward sitting talking to yourself with a person a few feet away from yourself from you. So I I you I don't want to record um, unless I'm pretty much alone. It makes it easier um, because otherwise I tend to I, I feel very shy and I don't say much. So and that's another interesting movie to see. Just me. Oh, sorry. Me sitting here saying nothing and doing things. And I bought this expensive microphone, well for me it was an expensive microphone. Um, because I wanted to, to talk. And hopefully this is I, I think this is I like oh okay it's full. Okay, that's good. Um, so I like uh, I think this is a good thing. Makes me I need to practice my English a bit too, so... Um, we have this thing where we use English to talk so the kids don't understand. He may, me and fiance, and it's not very... You tend to speak about a few things. Let's back this up here. Um, so this is a better way because it makes me practice speaking and it also makes me make me use kind of words of the words that I usually do. Um, when I look at some of the videos like Dagwin and Ian's videos and Chapman's I wish I was a native speaker and that I could speak English like they do, but I can't. This is the way I speak. This is my accent. Um, I could try, try to fake the British accent, but it wouldn't work. And an American accent I can't fake. So this is I actually studied English at the university and this is called my way of speaking is called the Mid-Atlantic English because it's a mix between some British words and some uh, with British pronunciations and some American pronunciations or Canadian uh, mostly uh, North American Canadian English. Just a mix, North Atl I think Mid Atlantic uh, dialect, because it's a mix, and the mix comes from us having different influences from different from places like you know, we watch British shows and we watch American shows, and then we sort of pick up some pronunciations and stuff different. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is good soil moisture levels. Uh, let's fast forward a bit. I want to show you how much money we make before we end this episode. So fast forward to see. So, uh, we have to watch this is up on radio, which is the our beehives. We get hundred eighty per hour, and we wait until we get okay. So twenty thousand eight hundred and one pounds per day for the cow's milk and that's really good that's really good just just do a few days of this and we'll be up to the 60,000 I need to, I decided to have no it was 160 no 60 to buy the new Holland tractor which I really wanted it's only fast all two days And we'll wait for someone to stop and then we can 
stop this episode. But I'll stop it here so we'll have to see. So next time we'll I uh, yeah, we'll probably have forwarded a bit that's a big pile. Uh, forwarded it a bit so you don't have to watch me feed the cows. Um so perhaps I think next time we will uh, I will have forwarded enough to start harvest or at least see some sort of sort of some sort of growing happening. So anyway, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you want to put any feedback, positive or negative, negative it's, it's greatly appreciated. Mostly positive, but negative too. Uh, and thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.